you're about to meet the lionfish. Their native habitat is the Pacific Ocean. They were aquarium fish, fun to look at. They are now invading the Atlantic Ocean. They destroy life on reefs, they eat their weight in other fish, and they will sting humans. And that's just the start of it. The story tonight from NBC's Michelle Kaczynski. A team of top researchers skims out from Stewart Coves in the Bahamas into deep water to face the enemy, an alien invader. Yes, the beautiful lionfish hiding out in every crevice, Ooh. but not welcome. The animal just doesn't belong in this ocean. They're like cockroaches. We're, you know, you'll have one small coral head with six lionfish on it. Um, they're picking off every little fish that they can find. They're on a mission to bag up and haul away as many lionfish as they can, which belong in the Pacific Ocean, where they fit into the balance of nature. But now brought to the Atlantic, the lions have found a feast on our delicate reefs, eating virtually everything while with their handy manes of poisonous spines, virtually nothing here will eat them. An invasion, and the Bahamas, an infestation. I know of no other fin fish that has become established so fast. They were first spotted in Florida around 1992, just after Hurricane Andrew broke some aquariums that held lionfish there. But since 2000, you see these fish just explode all the way up to Massachusetts. You go down there and they're just everywhere. Stranger still, scientists studying their DNA are finding that virtually all of them trace back to just six or seven original lionfish in the Atlantic. Every time these researchers go out now in the Bahamas, they're coming back with dozens upon dozens of these fish. They know they can't get all of them, but the federal government now is ready to start some organized eradication efforts. Longtime diver Lad Akins with the group Reef hopes it's not too late to launch an environmental war under the waves. When we go down and we see what impact these fish are having on our native fish populations, that's very disturbing. Uh, in effect, it's a kind of a biological pollution. They're afraid the lionfish that got away will become the insatiable king of this jungle. Michelle Kosinski, NBC News, Nassau, Bahamas. That's our broadcast for this Monday evening. Thank you for being with us. I'm Brian Williams. We hope to see you back here tomorrow night. Good night.